Hello explorers, I'm outside the Grand Central Market today, which is in downtown Los Angeles, taking up an entire block between Broadway and Hill Streets. It's situated inside the very first concrete and steel building in the city. What's sturdy steel? Well, this uh, was originally a department store when the building was built, but in 1917, all that changed when the marketplace opened, uniting all of Los Angeles for one common good, that of food. You can see all the different booths that cater to different uh, types of food from all over the world. Originally, most of the booths were grocery style. That was very convenient when Bunker Hill was a residential uh, neighborhood. Now that it's home to towering office buildings, the marketplace has grown and evolved with the times. Most booths now prepare uh, an entire meal for you and you can sit down and uh, eat it right here. But some of them are still run grocery style, offering everything from fruits and nuts to candy. Sarita's very specific decoration includes the La La Land poster because in these seats, Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone sat for a scene from that movie, which was filmed right here. My favorite go-to is a sandwich at Jose Chiquito. Oh, although I really love to look at all the cheeses at DTLA Cheese. Or you can visit the Jarito's fruit juice room. You'll also notice a lot of neon signs. Los Angeles played a very important role in the history of neon in the United States. And some of the neon signs that you see here are among the oldest in the city. This bit of neon is a little bit newer though, brought to us by Bullet Frontier Whiskey and the Museum of Neon Art. They're dedicated to restoring and preserving neon throughout the history of Los Angeles. And when you're visiting the Grand Central Market, if you take a photo in front of it and hashtag it Frontier Works, they're gonna donate money to the ongoing projects at the museum. This seafood place has my favorite of everything here, the spicy agua chile. It's spicy, which I love, but it's so spicy that it makes me sweat so profusely. I only really want to do it in private. Since I have time to go home, I'm gonna pick up some to go. One agua chili to go, please. Woo, and it was made fresh for me too. Look how beautiful, all that cilantro. The place is equipped with restrooms, a parking lot, and even its own Grand Central Market merchandise booth. Although the variety of options here are abundant, some of the booths have their own hours. So if you get here too late, you might miss out on an offering like Elon Hall's Ramen Hood, which is already closed for the day. Ugh, I missed my German pretzel. Dang it. But technically the market's open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. So I definitely recommend the marketplace for your food and drink needs. However, I definitely recommend it for lunch or earlier so you have the more options available to you. Oh, it always smells so good. I always just say, follow your nose. I'm gonna go home, have my agua chili. And until next time, keep exploring.